Okay, people. I realize it's been a while since I've done a, any kind of, well, videos at all, really. I've done a few herpin' videos, but not much going on down here in the basement. That's not to say there's not much going on down here in the basement. There's actually a lot going on, and I really need to do a tour update video. But that's not what we're doing today. Today, we're doing an unboxing, my first ever unboxing for my channel. And this box comes from Underground Reptiles. So Underground Reptiles, you know, I've read mixed reviews about them. But uh, they seem like an alright company, so I figured I'd give it a shot, try it out. Um, because they had what I wanted. And as for what I wanted, you're about to find out. So let's start by... Uh, let's see. Open the box. go okay so I ordered this yesterday next day shipping oh there we go <laughs> guys I'm really excited we have here is a turtle check that out check out that little baby turtle this is a Florida snapping turtle now you probably think I'm crazy for getting a snapping turtle but um, you know maybe I am I don't know I've always wanted a snapping turtle though I absolutely love snappers I don't know if you can if the camera's gonna focus on him or not I'll get some better shots of them with the real camera. This is my phone that I'm filming this with. It's a little Florida snapper. Just a little baby. Oh. He's adorable. Yeah, so hopefully he'll get used to me enough that by the time he reaches, like, a huge size, he won't uh, be so cantankerous. See, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set him up in a little tank, just a couple inches of water. He's got time to grow. I've got, I've got time to get a bigger tub for him. I have a 110 gallon stock tub outside actually, but uh, obviously he's too small for that now, but I'm totally prepared for what this thing will become and I'm looking forward to it. So the reason I bought a snapping turtle, I live in New York, snapping turtles do occur in New York, but they're illegal to collect from the wild and illegal to keep. This is a Florida box, or box, yeah, this is a Florida snapping turtle. So not only is it um, legal to keep in New York, because it's a, a different subspecies from what we have here. But um, it's also captive raised, captive, captive born, in, in fact. So didn't have to collect that guy from the wild. Now that was the main reason I ordered from Underground Reptiles, but I did get, I did throw in another one there because it's like a fly rate shipping. And these guys were only five bucks. Oop, whoop. And, oh, that is a beautiful, Oh, it's chirping. It's a beautiful big cane toad, a marine toad. And yeah, I know what you're probably thinking, like, hey man, you already got one of these things. And it's true, I do. These guys are five bucks on there because they catch them from the wild down there in Florida where they're an invasive species. Um, and I just, I just want another one, so why not? That's a good looking toad right there. Whew. Check her out. Very nice. It's exciting. And alright, that does it for the unboxing. You know, Underground Reptiles, my first time purchasing from them. I can't, I'm not disappointed. I can't say that I am. I mean, these are nice, healthy looking animals. They shipped on time. Uh, I would probably buy from them again. Although I have heard a few horror stories, but I work in customer service, so I know how people can be. But let me put these guys away and switch to the other camera and get some better footage of them. Alright, so there he is. The new addition. Little baby Florida snapping turtle. So tiny. And uh, he's chilling in his new home here. tank here is it's just a five gallon tank 
but uh, he's so little that it makes the tank look enormous. It's hard to believe that someday, years from now, he will... He's going to be like, you know, a giant. But I'm looking forward to watching him grow and hopefully uh, he'll be a tame little turtle. Well, as tame as a snappy turtle can be anyway, right? Yeah, so as I said in the unboxing, like, the main reason I decided to buy one of these, I had been shopping around online for a little while. Uh, turtle stores had them, the Florida Snappers, uh, but on there they were like twice the price as the Turtles on Underground Reptiles. So, I decided to go with Underground Reptile. Plus, the, like I said, Captive Bred, Captive Born, this is Turtle is not collected from the wild. Which is not only something I didn't want to do myself for, with a local Snapper, but it's also something I didn't want to buy. I didn't want to buy a wild collected, collected uh, snapping turtle. These guys got enough problems in the wild without somebody, you know, catching them and putting them in an aquarium. So he's a cute little guy. Look at that long tail just sticking up out of the water. Oh, so adorable. I'm going to look forward to watching him grow. So yeah, no, this little tank doesn't have a filter. I, I just don't, you know, it's only a couple inches of water. I don't have a filter really that can handle it. So what I'm going to do is just do daily or, you know, every other day water changes. It'll be easy enough. You just pick up the tank, dump out the old water, put in new. But of course, eventually this thing will need a mega filter. No name ideas yet. I've been, I've been thinking about it. You know, something like Tank or Dozer would be pretty cool, but I feel like, you know, there's probably a lot of snappers out there that are named Tank and Dozer. But definitely something, you know, well, badass, let's put it that way. Alright, let's go take a look at that. Uh, Alright, so there she toad. is, the new Cane Toad. She looks a lot different from Tinkles, the other, the other one that I have. Uh, Tinkles is very dark colored. And hopefully her personality is different too because Tinkles, well, frankly, Tinkles is one of the more boring animals that I have. Um, always hiding in her clay flower pot. Never comes out, doesn't eat in front of anybody. She eats, but I've only ever seen her eat like once or twice in the time that I've had her. I've had her over a year. It's a very secretive animal, and I wanted one that was a little bit more outgoing. And um, depending on how active this one is, we'll see how how big of an enclosure she gets and maybe she can even live with tinkles but uh, in the meantime this will do very pretty uh, kind of like a gold color I haven't named this one yet either kind of leaning the, the, the goldish color kind of makes my name her Goldie because that would just be kind of funny you know weird name for a toad but there she is and yeah, I had to get one of these, $5, field collected, uh, an invasive in Florida, so no problem collecting these guys from the wild. Um, but in New York, to buy one at like a pet store, I think I paid 40 bucks for Tinkles, so, you know, I figured, I'm getting the turtle, I have room for the toad, it's $5, just, just get the thing. These, it's not like these guys are hard to keep, and I like them a lot. Yeah, that'll about do it for this video, guys. Um, sorry for the lack of content lately, been a very busy summer for me. I... I will do a tour update video and part of the reason I have it is just because um, the longer I wait to do it the longer it's gonna you know the harder the video is gonna be to make because I got so much stuff to go over um, the room has changed a lot there's other new additions there's been a few animals that have passed unfortunately uh, but overall things are going great and I'm looking forward to uh, expanding looking forward to the future of my collection here Alright, so we'll let her get adjusted and settle in, and uh, we'll upload this video, and hope you guys enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'll be back soon with either a herping video or finally that reptile tour, one or the other. Thanks for watching.